Play action. This is what they do well. Swing it to Abuka. And no running room. It gets away from one tackle, but not the second. J.D. Third and long. McCord settles, fires. Stover, first down. The transitioned tight end who has shown incredible skill picks up 14 and moves the sticks. Really nice read by Kyle McCord. They showed pressure, then they only rushed three. And Stover just finds a nice hole in the middle of the zone. They're dropping eight. A bit more relaxed in the last two weeks. They'll look to go to the air again to the outside. It's Stover who breaks a tackle. Stiff arms another, and he dives forward for another first down. Benjamin Morrison couldn't wrap him up, and Stover goes to the tune of another eight. Well, one of the things that's been a problem for Notre Dame through the first four games is missed tackles. I think that's number 45 now on the season. Stover's a strong guy. He's got skill after the catch. Play action for McCord. Looking for a deep ball down the sideline. Incomplete. He overthrew a Buka in stride. And that was Thomas Harper in coverage. The transfer from Oklahoma State has really solidified this back end of the defense. He's the slot corner working on Abuka, an outstanding receiver. And Harper is right with him stride for stride. And less than 40% on third down all year. Here's third and 12 from McCord. Dials it up down the middle of the field. In incomplete. He was overthrowing Abuka again. Xavier Watts was deep in coverage, had a break on the football, and it's fourth down. Kyle McCord was kind of lucky on this one because there was a safety back there over the top. Abuka is going to work down the middle of the field, but you're going to see the safety coming over the top. Xavier Watts in position. So, in, in essence, they double covered Abuka. And McCord very lucky that one wasn't intercepted. McCord. Going quick on third down. McCord feeling the pressure, looking to escape. Can't do so. Tripped up. Jordan Botello with a big play, and it's fourth down. Ohio State tried to go fast. We just mentioned Leofo and how he flies all over the field. He's the guy that's going to force the pressure. Watch number eight get into the backfield and force Kyle McCord to leave the pocket, and then he's wrapped up short of the first down. So Harrison in motion, McCord on play action right on cue. Pulls it down, looking to run himself, and dives forward near mid. Feels like it's only a matter of time before that big play for the Buckeyes. McCord fading away, lost one. Oh, did that come down? Cade Stover with an unbelievable effort, but the flag came in. DJ Brown was all over him. It was incomplete. Yeah, I think they're going to call pass interference on DJ Brown because the ball was thrown inside. McCord's going to get rid of the football. Pass interference. Defense number two. That penalty is declined. Result of the play. It's a first down. Because the ball was thrown. First down. Take the handoff. Now McCord delivers too high. Looking for. McCord lets it fly. Trainum gets it. First down. Just had to get past that first surge and did break the tackle of Morrison to move the sticks. Yeah, I think Morrison just kind of put his head down and missed. He just kind of whiffed. If he makes a tackle, it's short of the first down. There's the completion and just a whiff on the tackle in Ohio State with a new set of downs. And credit Kyle McCord for finding his out in the blitz, but they're showing it. McCord feeling the pressure, delivers over the middle. Beautiful throw. And Buka on the slant picks up the first down. They did bring pressure, but they tried to drop Leofau out underneath that route. But he just is not quite fast enough to get there. And Kyle McCord throws it right in front of him. The tailback here on fourth and goal. Fake it to Williams. McCord rolls. McCord surveys. Tipped up. Incomplete. No. Right here. Now watch what happens. He's initially going to rush. And the right tackle, Josh Fryer, is going to try to hold him and keep him there. But he rolls out, keeps eyes on the quarterback, and gets the deflection to thwart the fourth down play. A great reaction by Jalen. Could win 18 to 13. This one now the eighth meeting and still scoreless towards the end of the second. First target. Tation made a nice play there on second down. Going quick on third and three. McCord lofts. Complete. Stover again. Tripped up for a first down. 
Second time we've seen Ohio State try to go quick on third down and not let Notre Dame get set on defense. Neither one of these teams are playing with a lot of pace, right? And even in the first part of the season, they both have been averaging about 62, 63 offensive plays a game. Ohio's Notre Dame locked in the battle with Harrison. Play action from McCord. Steps up, looking to run. Slips the tackle and just guys on rundowns. Second and eight. McCord back to the air, lofts it down the sideline. Oh, Marvin Harrison Jr. A flag is down. He brought it in as he was locked up with Morrison. And if it stands, it's a big gain and a first down into Notre Dame territory. And this holding defense number 20. That penalty is declined. Result in the play. It's a first down. No safety help this time, so it's single coverage. Morrison's in good position, doesn't matter. You just need to throw it somewhere near this guy. He's being he's held, he's being grabbed. It's third and six. McCord, with time, steps up. Perfectly delivered. Emeka Ebuka, first down, Ohio State. Great protection. I mean, this is a route that takes time. It's play action pass. Good protection. McCord steps away from the pocket a little bit in order to buy a little more time to let Ibuka get all the way across. McCord looking for another chunk. It's Ibuka again inside those. McCord on first down. Looking towards the end zone. Ibuka got it. Touchdown, Ohio State. Now, he may or may not have caught it, but he ran a beautiful route. It's a red zone route. Here's the end of the, the play. On the field of no, a touchdown did not catch it. Under further review. He yes. ran a beautiful route, but that is an incomplete pass. Well thrown ball by Kyle McCord. They kind of felt like they had something going with Egbuka on this drive, and they went to him far. He's down wide to the left. McCord looking end zone. Oh, nearly intercepted and incomplete. Cade Stover, the intended target. And D.J. Brown had a real chance to take it away. Well, this is double coverage on Stover. You've got underneath coverage by Watts, and then coming over the top, D.J. Brown. They anticipated the throw down the seam. Perfect coverage by Notre Dame on that third down play. Who had the 61-yard touchdown on the last drive. McCord right to Harrison right away. Leah foul on the blitz. McCord feeling it. McCord has to get rid of it. Tipped up in the air. Oh, it's complete. Oh Cade Stover. He's still going. And they're going to blow this dead. Stover came down with a football, the and we'll see where they roll it. After the catch, his knee was down at the 45 yard line. Well, they brought both inside backers, Leah Fowl and Bertrand. And Kyle McCord. He's got to unload it, and the ball kind of flutters out of his hands. I think Bertrand hit his arm. It flutters up in the air, bounces around, and Cade Stover somehow is able to come up with the football. I think his knee was down when he caught the football. 100%. But a heads-up play by the tight end nonetheless. And that looked for sure like it was going to be a stop by this Notre Dame defense. Says he models his game after George Kittle, a man who can do a little bit of everything. And that was the concentration of Kittle right there. McCord, there's a chunk gain again to Abuka in an Notre Dame territory to the 41. Yeah, he had a deep crossing route between Abuka and Marvin Harrison Jr. And either one of those guys would have been open. See the separation from Harper and a nice throw by McCord. Abuka in motion, play action for McCord. McCord going for it all, single coverage, and Harrison can't reel it in. Cam Hart was with him stride for stride. Yeah, and you just wonder if that ankle has slowed him down just a hair because he's got top-end speed. Cam Hart gets away with a little tug on the jersey. Cam Hart has no idea where the ball is. He's just trying to hang on for dear life, reading the eyes of Marvin Harrison Jr., and the ball turned out. McCord steps up and delivers. It's a Buka again for a first down. Flag does come down to the backfield. 
And we'll wait for the call. Well, I think we're going to be a personal foul on the right tackle, Josh Fryer, at the end of the play. We await the word from Larry Smith. He's blocking on his old During teammate, play, Jean Baptiste. Foul. Take Offense a look at the top. Seven, the unnecessary roughness. This penalty, since it was during the play, will be enforced in the previous spot. 15 yards. It will still be third down. There's the play. Those were two former teammates at Ohio State. McCord to the air. McCord lets it fly. Stover, and he's not going to get close. On early downs because that's the easiest down to get completions for Kyle McCord. Takes the handoff to Abuka. McCord on the bootleg. Just a little push pass. It goes to Julian Fleming and energy at Notre Dame Stadium. McCord to throw on second down. Good protection runs out. And another completion. A tough. McCord over the middle. Wide open. Xavier Johnson with a lot of space. Will in the Notre Dame territory. Cam Hart tracks him down. What a play by the captain grad student for Ohio State to the tune of 40 yards. This is a mistake because this is Morrison coming on a blitz and nobody picks up the middle of the field receiver. Xavier Johnson is right there, an easy read for Kyle McCord, but nobody in coverage behind that blitz and Notre Dame got burned. Just get it off in time for McCord. Lost one towards the sideline. Henderson with separation, and the flag's going to come in. Yeah, that was J.D. Bertrand who was in coverage and really had no idea where the ball was and ran into the attended receiver. See, he's out there guarding the running back. 15-yard penalty from the previous And spot. the speed Automatic of Henderson gets down. by him, and then he ends up just kind of running into him because he's beat on the play, and he doesn't know where the football is. Blair there, and now Ohio State in the red zone. Play action pass from McCord. McCord with plenty of time, and finally runs out. He just lofts it towards the end zone, back to the end zone, and incomplete. They'll start this drive from the 35. Henderson in motion. McCord looking to swing it to him, and that's going to be incomplete. It was tipped at the line, and just barely a forward pass. I think Javante Jean Baptiste may have got a hand on it. He's trying to make a safe play on first down. And you can see right there, John Baptiste gets enough on the ball. Second and 10. McCord, screen, over the head of Henderson. He had space too because they free released him and there was nobody picking him up. But the ball is gonna be a little bit high and hard. Watch right here. Nobody's there to pick up Henderson. It's high and it's behind. The running back. McCord uncorks. It's complete. First down, Ohio State to Abuka. I mean, Abuka just has such a great feel. Watch him sit down between Harper and the safety and make the catch in space. He has had some huge third down conversions today. McCord hit as he throws. Incomplete in the direction of Fleming. A good pressure that time. John Baptiste in there. He's coming from the outside right here. He is. He's going to get good pressure. Collapse the pocket. Also Jalen Sneed who has been a presence in the game today. He is it's his fourth game as a starter. Second and ten. McCord throwing the pressure. Gets rid of it for Stover. And a positive right here. McCord steps up, and he's hit as he throws it. Incomplete. Major pressure from Notre Dame, and J.D. Bertrand, the captain. Yeah, Bertrand comes on the blitz. There's a man to pick him up. Travian Henderson just doesn't do a good enough job blocking the blitz, and Bertrand is able to get a hit on the quarterback right as he's been down here on the right. McCord steps up over the middle. First down. Julian Fleming with the extra extension. How about that? Julian Fleming, very quiet, crossing route, working on the nickelback Thomas Harper and gets just enough for the first down. Stover's open. 
Newly intercepted. Oh, boy. He's so lucky. Stover was wide open. The pass was late. And D.J. Brown almost intercepted it. Watch D.J. Brown read this and come right in front of the intended receiver and not able to catch the football. Stover was open for a moment. McCoy to throw on second down. Another completion diving grab from Harrison. Working in between defenders. I mean, there's a lot of attention to him, but he makes a great catch. McCoy looking towards the end zone. Oh, broken up. McCord hit. McCord keeps the football, lets it loose, and he throws it away. Potential Browning, offense number six. So lost the down on the play. Terry, are they calling that just because he was definitely trying to avoid the sack? I mean, it seemed like there were receivers in the area. Todd, he was in the tack. He was still in the tackle box. Right. He has to throw the ball in the direction of a receiver. We'll watch 18's route. He cuts inside, and then the quarterback throws it away from him. Yeah. Had 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 18 been outside the number. Three-man rush. McCord floats it. End zone. Caught short. Abuka makes the catch inside the one. Locks no pause here. They can spike it. Get onside. McCord clocks it with seven. What a throw. And again, Abuka just reading the coverage and finding the soft spot. It's a three-man rush. They're dropping eight. And he does a great job of gearing down his route at the end instead of running into the coverage. And McCord able to find it. What a big-time throw and catch at this point in the game. McCord rolls, fires, incomplete. Harrison.